Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to look at a new feature coming to the next release of Vivaldi web browser. I know many of you uh, like using Vivaldi, and if you're not following the development, they are now working on mail, calendar, and I think RSS feed syncing inside of the browser itself. So if you just have a couple email addresses, then you can go ahead and use this function to check them. Now, as of now, um, they are aware of it, but uh, Gmail accounts do not work. Something about needing the API and to validate everything with Google first. But you can experiment with this if you're self-hosting your email like I am or anything like that. You can go ahead and, um, and check a look at the snapshot. Now, these are set for the three 3.5 release, which is set out early next year, and you can actually have a look at it now by downloading the desktop snapshot of 2115.31, which was just released yesterday as I am recording this. So go ahead and click in on that, and then we have a page over here. So you can see internal Chrome extension URL flashes before loading internal pages. That's actually a bug. Uh, that actually messed with me a little bit on my early testing, so I'm not going to show you that part. But uh, we'll go ahead and talk about what else is working. You can go ahead and download the DEB or the RPM version here for a, uh, a Linux uh, box, or there is a Mac and a Windows option as well for you guys if you want to test these features out. See here, uh, we're looking at the mail calendar and RSS technical preview. There are a few issues. I already mentioned the Gmail is not working. Also, sadly for us NextCloud users, you cannot so far sync a NextCloud calendar to it, uh, although it's something that there is already some discussion threads about. So hopefully that will be fixed up pretty soon. So you're going to go ahead and download it, install this the preview, and it's in my uh, bar here as Vivaldi Snapshot, which is the preview. Presumably, so we can run a Vivaldi next to uh, next to a uh, a full production version. Now, before you get started, you want to type in Vivaldi. So I don't know why it keeps on going auto filling out to games. It's, I haven't even been there. <laughs> right, go down to experiments, and we're going to check click the check mark to enable the mail and feeds. Now, you're going to want to close it down and restart it before you jump on in here and do anything because the options will not appear on the side without doing that. I'm going to cancel because I've already done this. Now set up your mail. Just go ahead and click your settings. Here's your calendar. If you're doing something that's not, you can actually see that there's some Nextcloud calendars here. They don't actually work. And I can't even delete them at this point. That's just like deleting. Yes, deleting, deleting, deleting. And they never delete. All right. So over here, you can go ahead and set it up. And uh, I didn't actually have to go in and do anything. I just hit the new, added the email address, hit continue. It automatically found all of my settings for IMAP, enter the password, and uh, there you had it. Down here, you have various options. Oop, wrong button, except I pushed a uh, wrong button there. Anyway. Uh, you have various options here, and uh, you can see that you can turn ma the mail client on or off. So if you don't want to be bothered by it, you can go ahead and do that. You can uh, play or disable mail notifications. You can put it on the, the panel. Uh, there's mail counters. You can see there's four emails in the box there. You can check for new mail every minute, every 15 minutes, or manually. And there's other options. So there's inherit, black and white themes. Just a lot of other options. Here is our mailing lists mail filters. I believe there's a place to put in signatures here as well. So that's how you get it all set up. Once it's there, just go ahead and click on this guy over here. And uh, let's close. Let's go ahead and just uh, click in on this. You can see here that we have our pages and it's all spam because, hey, this is my forward facing um, my forward facing uh, email address. So yeah, it gets a lot of spam. Woohoo, look at that. You guys get some 90% off some Ray-Ban sunglasses. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, but you can see that actually works very well. Uh, and this is email that is on a, uh, on a cPanel. You can see here I have all of my folders and such. I have my unread, my received, there's sent, spam, trash. Everything is over here. Uh, of course, I can go ahead and turn off the sidebar there, and I can navigate anywhere else. So there's actually uh, a nice new feature for you Vivaldi users. Uh, as far as the calendars, uh, the calendars does look like it's going to work. 
uh, pretty well also. So you can go ahead and uh, see what's on the sidebar. Now you can see a full calendar. Let me go ahead and close everything down here. You can see a full calendar by going to uh, Vivaldi slash calendar. Sure, I spelled that right. And then you can see here, this is giving us the full calendar. Now, despite having those next cloud calendars in here, I know they're not working because I actually had something on my calendar on, you know, the 23rd. So I know those aren't working, but you can see here the full side calendars there. I was, uh, you can bookmark that, put that wherever you need it. And you will get some notifications, I believe over on the calendar sidebar with that. I don't think I have any contacts set up. Uh, there, I'm guessing that might pull in from maybe the, the email list, but uh, I don't actually use any uh, contact email lists with my system there. Again, we can head on right on back to our mail, click on that, and there we have it. So you guys using Vivaldi will be pleased to see that. And if you are using Vivaldi and uh, you are so experimental, I'd encourage you to download the snapshot, play around with it, and uh, give them some feedback so we have a much better product when this is actually released. There we are with a very quick switch to Linux video today. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, have a look at my Patreon page, patreon.com slash T-O-M-M, or Subscribestar is new, subscribestar.com slash switched to Linux. We are also on our own in-house support page on thinklifemedia.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.